Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy 8 Pancho back at you again with another video. And today we've got some updates in regards to convictions in relation to the Encro Chat hack, or as some of you may know it as Operation Fanatic. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, over the past few months we've been discussing Operation Fanatic, which is the UK's biggest police operation. I did a full video covering it, giving you a backstory, which I will leave linked down in the description. You should definitely go and give that want to watch if you're unfamiliar with Operation Venetic. Just a quick summary though, the operation was European wide and it set out to crack EncroChat which was an encrypted messenger. Eventually when law enforcement agencies cracked into it, let's just say some of the biggest European gangsters and British gangsters were finally caught after police could pinpoint them to specific crimes. I believe the last video where we looked into Operation Venetic, it was people being arrested after AK-47 and many Uzis had been seized by police. Again, this was thanks to the intelligence from Operation Venetic. And again, the operation normally surrounds people who are involved in organised crime and organised crime groups. Today, some more news has come out though where the Tate crime family from Newcastle, which police described as untouchable up until their arrests, have recently been convicted for firearms and drug offences. On the 26th of April 2020, police gained intelligence via Operation Venetic into the family and conducted raids at three addresses in Biker, Kenton and Cowgate. Upon executing a warrant at 40-year-old Thomas Tate's property in Kenton, they discovered a Glock pistol and three kilograms of cocaine. Thomas Tate Jr., which is Thomas Tate Sr.'s son, was said to have turned up to the house whilst the police were raiding it and he would also go on to be arrested. Later that night, a stash of weapons were uncovered inside the home of Anne-Marie Glenarding, who's Tate Senior's mother. During a search of a flat in Biker, officers found a sports bag hidden inside of a wardrobe. It was filled with a collection of weapons including a hand grenade, a semi-automatic Strabog carbine and a Glock pistol. When questioned by police officers, she would go on to tell them that the bag belonged to a 21 year old grandson Daniel, again this is Thomas Tate Sr's other son, and Anne-Marie would go on to say that Daniel had left it there for safekeeping and that she believed it was full of clothes. As police continued their investigation, another man was linked to the conspiracy case and that was David Nixon. When police searched a property, Property, they found £15,000 in cash and 10 kilograms of mixing agent. Police linked them to David. The Tate family alongside David Nixon all appeared in court after they were arrested and charged on various charges. Following a series of hearings at Newcastle Crown Court, the group had all eventually pled guilty to the charges that were brought against them and are all due to be sentenced next year. The date has yet to be announced. In regards to the charges though, Thomas Tate Sr. would plead guilty to possessing Class A drugs with intent to supply and possession of a firearm. Anne-Marie pleaded guilty to three counts of possession of a firearm and possession of ammunition. Thomas Tate Jr. pleaded guilty to possession of Class A drugs with intent to supply. Daniel Tate pleaded guilty to possessing Class A drugs with intent to supply, three counts of possessing a firearm and possessing ammunition. And David Nixon had pleaded guilty to conspiracy to possess a firearm and being concerned in the supply of Class A drugs. Speaking after after the final hearing, Detective Chief Inspector Paul Woods from Northumbria Police's Priority and Organised Crime Team said, These convictions are the result of a long and complex investigation which relied on the expertise of a number of specialist teams from across the force. The Tate family thought they were untouchable, not only were they making money from selling illicit substances, but they were also in possession of illegal weapons. No doubt many people in our communities will be shocked by the details of this case and by the image of those weapons we recovered. I would like to reiterate that serious violent and illegal weapons have no place in our neighbourhoods. Thankfully in this area it is very rare for criminals to acquire firearms of this nature. The public can be assured that whenever we suspect that illegal firearms are in the hands of criminals our dedicated teams will waste no time in seizing and destroying them and taking robust action against those in their possession. Brazen and shameless criminals like the Tates and their associates 
should be warned that the net is closing in on organised crime. It's a question of when, not if. I would like to thank all the officers and staff involved in this investigation for their hard work and dedication. Guilty pleas from all those involved show there really was no escape from the sheer volume of evidence we were able to gather and put before the courts. And so it seems as if Operation Venetic is still proving successful, bringing down some of the most sought-after criminals and organised crime groups in the UK. But I've said it before and I'll say it again, the war on drugs and organised crime just doesn't work. And if anything, in my opinion, you make it 10 times worse because, okay, let's say a family has been active for 30 years or so, and then you take the organisation down, you just get a bunch of optimistic younger people warring it out with each other just to become the top dog. And in turn, the police are just in a losing battle. But of course, from the police's point of view, they feel like they have a duty to act out on the intelligence that they gather. And of course, they do feel like it's the best foot forward. But just like history has shown, the war on drugs and organised crime is pretty much unbeatable. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell it's been your boy Pancho, and i'm out